Tell them your name. D O A Y D E N. When he was first born, Brayden Newbold appeared healthy and strong. Growing up in Spanish Wells, a small island in the Bahamas, his first few months of life were normal. However, as Brayden got older, his parents noticed he wasn't growing as expected. He was six months old. We went to his pediatrician for a usual six-month-old checkup, and he suggested because his growth was so minimal and he was falling off the growth chart that we go to see an endocrinologist. They suspected something really rare. It was even told to us that they had only seen what he had in mice. A fellow Spanish Wells resident, also with a child with a growth disorder, recommended the Newbolds contact a physician more than a thousand miles away at Cincinnati Children's, Dr. Philippe Bacalhau. So Braden, let me ask you a question. He diagnosed Braden, now three, with Laron syndrome, a growth disorder that causes short stature. He makes plenty of growth hormone, uh, but it doesn't have a good biological effect. And this disorder of growth hormone resistance leads to severe deficiency of a growth factor called IGF-1 or insulin-like growth factor 1. In the 1990s, researchers at Cincinnati Children's conducted a study for a drug called Incrolex for treatment of patients with Laron syndrome. Patients from all over the world took part in the study. The Food and Drug Administration approved the product in 2005 for patients with the IGF-1 deficiency. It was very enlightening to see this used commercially during my career as a nurse here to treat children with severe growth issues. For the last nine months, Braden has been a patient at Cincinnati Children's Growth Center. He's grown about three and a half inches in that time since taking the Incrolex injections twice a day, every day. The hope is that the medication will remain available, uh, that there's no shortage of the medication, and that we can continue to treat them until adult height. Brayden's 14-month-old brother, Brody, also has the same genetic disease. He will start treatment when he's two. A side effect to the disease for both boys is low blood sugar, which is dangerous for brain development and can cause seizures. To keep up their treatment, the family plans to make the 1,000-mile trek every three months to Cincinnati Children's as necessary, since the manufacturer won't ship the medication to the Bahamas. For Brayden, his mom says it's worth the travel, since she's already seen results. Because he's now running, which he wasn't before. He's climbing. He's keeping up with the other kids better since he started the treatment. It's worth it to see how remarkable he's doing. Bye, Miss Yobi. Bye, sweetheart. I'll you see you in the winter. You? Thank you, Miss Yobi. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll see you in the winter time. <laughs>